anatomy and physiology for the beauty industry, olfactory and respiratory systems. There are various treatments that we perform in the beauty industry that have an effect on or stimulate the olfactory and respiratory systems, aromatherapy being the obvious one. It's important to have a good basic understanding of how these systems work and the effects that our treatments can have on these. Olfactory system, the nose. This is the system that deals with our sense of smell and works with the nervous system to detect smells, transmit the information to the brain and make a decision on whether we like it, dislike it, sense danger or even feel emotive. The olfactory system consists of the nose and the olfactory bulb. The nose. This consists of two nasal passages that help you to breathe and detect smells. The nose is referred to as the organ of olfaction and is also closely connected to your sense of taste. If you hold your nose when you eat, it's harder to identify the taste. If you are constantly exposed to the same smell over a period of time, your olfactory system gradually adjusts to it until you no longer become aware of the scent. Inside the nose you have cilia, which are tiny hairs connected to olfactory nerve endings. These lie in the mucous membrane, which lines the nose and warms up the air that enters. The cilia hairs are extremely sensitive and can detect any odour particles. When you have a cold, it's harder to detect smells as there is more mucus produced, which makes it harder for the information to reach the olfactory nerve endings. The olfactory bulb. This is situated in the brain and processes the information it receives from the olfactory nerve endings once the message has been delivered via the olfactory tract. It identifies the smell and your brain stores thousands of odours in your memory which can be instantly recognised. These are nerve endings. This is the olfactory bulb. Respiratory system part one. This is our breathing system and it helps the cells to take in oxygen and dispel carbon dioxide and waste. Through the respiratory system, we can also talk and detect smells. There are three stages to breathing, respiration, and they are inspiration, when the lungs fill with air, expiration, when the air is expelled, a short pause before it begins again. When you breathe in, your intercostal muscles contract, and when you breathe out, your intercostal muscles relax. Respiratory system part two. The respiratory system consists of the nose, which consists of two nasal passages lined with cilia and mucus. Dust or invading bacteria is caught in the mucus and cilia and often expelled through breathing, coughing or sneezing. This is the nasal cavity. The pharynx, which is the back of the nose and throat and has three regions, the nasopharynx, oropharynx and laryngopharynx. The larynx, which is also the voice box, and these work together to transfer air to the lungs and channel food and drink to the digestive tract. The nose, mouth, pharynx and larynx make up the upper respiratory tract. Respiratory system part three. The trachea is the windpipe and is the connecting tube of the larynx to the bronchi. Bronchi and bronchioles, branches of these, are the airway passages into the lungs. Lungs are two spongy lobes which house alveoli, tiny air sacs, where the gas exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. Your left lung is slightly smaller as the heart lies towards this side. Intercostal muscles are pairs of muscles in between the ribs which aid breathing. Diaphragm. This is a smooth sheet of muscle in the thoracic area which flattens when you breathe in to give the lungs maximum capacity and becomes domed when you breathe out to aid the pushing out of air.